versus Nackleman and G. Nackleman and G Man. Nackleman and G Man Lewis. Yep, there we go. Okay, winners finals. Yep, you guys are good. Or at least well, more or less. the correct team colors, but yeah. I don't know. All right, let's see. And where did I open this twice? I did. Nope, team colors are reverse. I think you can just switch them, and that also works too. Yep, and that'll make it. Okay, now nice everything's easy. good. Okay, awesome. So, so, back on commentary stuff. Robin is an <laughs> interesting character as, like, Paul. Um, definitely, in my opinion, stronger in doubles than singles. Yes, for sure. Um, in singles, his main weakness is that he just has or him or her. Their him main her. weakness is that they just don't have mobility. Uh, him, just Ooh. because that's what's on screen, uh, on the screen right now, so him. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Him, just because he doesn't have the mobility to handle certain situations. Yeah, he can't, like, chase people down, he can't escape from things. Mobility is the most important, just, like, basic attribute in Smash, just period. Yeah. Um, Which is why you see a lot of faster characters in the higher tiers and stuff yep. like that. Uh, however, in doubles, Robin can take advantage of his partner to do setups. And then also just the like massive range on his aerials, and he also can only really needs to control as much space as he does like where he's at. Yeah. Because in doubles, people just go into that space a lot more often. And that's true because now everybody can stand at the same place at the same time. Mm -hmm. Well, also, can. if you're in a if you're in a two v one, uh, like you and your teammate against the other two, you can have your teammate go in while you charge like Thoron and all that sort of stuff. And Robin with Yoshi is also actually um, a fairly strong team, actually, because they have a lot of just really strong moves. On they have them. a lot of strong moves, good combos, I would imagine. Um, decent team synergy, basically. What just... Okay. Batmobile killing Gin. I guess. Man, Yoshi's downer just does so much damage. It does. And actually, on an interesting note, uh, this requires some team coordination, but Robin, him in this scenario, can Nos Nosferatu, a Ganondorf, and if Yoshi springs on the situation, could dare the Ganondorf while he's being Nosferatu. Maybe. Ooh. Maybe. Yeah, no, it, um, maybe. I don't actually, know. Actually, I'm not sure, because Nosferatu does have a hitbox. I'm not sure if it has one above. It. I'm not sure it has one above, but... I'm not sure either, but yeah, that would be thinking. a really, really good way to capitalize off of Nosferatu. Also, Robin's um, smash attacks strong. Yeah. So Green Team's definitely in the advantage right now. Um, yep. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, I really did not think that that Thoron was going to kill. Like, I almost wonder if that was just bad DI. Now, if you're, like, close to the blast line, you're probably going to die from Thoron. Yeah. Well, I was meaning more uh, from, like, launch speed. Yeah. But, I don't know. So that's our view on Robin. Mm-hmm. Definitely an interesting character, and one that Kaichikun's only picked up fairly recently. Yep. But, I mean, that character's scary. I know that I've gone up against it, and I didn't actually know at the time that Robin had down throw into, you know, up air, which does, or down throw to up air, which does an insane amount of damage and kills super early. Yeah, it does. Um, just because, like, I remembered it happened in one of the patches, but then I just never saw it again. Yep. Um, so, Ganondorf, I feel like, would definitely struggle against this team, just because yeah. I feel like even in 1v1, they still yeah. struggle against either one of these characters. Really. Yeah, Yoshi can break out of a lot of things, uh, lives for quite a while, and then he can just run away and throw eggs at Ganon, honestly, because eggs are a really good projectile. And then that against, or that teamed with Robin, who has a really good uh, close quarters game aerially, anyways. On the ground, it's not bad. The jab is really, really good. But it's like, the rest of it's just kind of workable. Uh, down tilt's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's right. good for, like, low ground control, apparently. Yeah. The way I've read. But, um... Then, of course, Robin also has all those aerials um, with super range, which is zoning in and of itself, to say nothing of all the projectiles. Oh, so, um, Robin can somewhat be easily stomped out of that recovery. Yeah, that's, but that's for sure. besides the point, though. Mm. And that's if you don't just, like, throw out a back air or something. Yeah. Nope. Okay, so kaito -kun managed to survive that time. Um, honestly, something I'm really impressed with... Ooh! Well, was that stage spike? But what I was going to say is the blue team, double Ganon's NHL, I believe, doesn't actually play Ganon. Like, I don't know. seriously, I think he's like picked him up recently, kind of as a joke. But I mean, 
they're working really well together, and they have really good uh, team coordination. I mean, Ganon seems to kind of do that with Ganon anyways, as we saw from quads the last time I was here, but... Yeah, Ganon's Ganon. That's... Oh, that Robin died. Yeah, that's... One of Robin's problems. Caught between two Ganons, each throwing out moves. That's, that's a scary place to be. I mean, like, it's scary the shield because they might break it. Yeah, and I mean, even if they don't, they can just flame choke you, and then you have two Ganons around you covering all your options. It's just not a place you want to be. Although, Robin can go over the edge against Ganons pretty well, actually. Because it can be difficult to work on, uh, work against uh, fire or whatever. Yeah. Because so, uh, Gandorf doesn't have the best recoveries, but quite difficult to work against around that sometimes. Yeah. Gandorf's a really interesting character because he has a couple of just absurdly good moves. Like his aerials on any other character with as much damage and range and everything thing as they have would be like essentially broken. But because they're on Ganon, they're not. Yeah. Wow, Kaito can went out for the super risky edge guard, missed both of them, and oh, oh there's that the spike. Elwin but, spike. So he missed both of them, but didn't actually get punished. Um, so Travis just taking that, uh, that's Summer Heat just taking that stock. Honestly, that's something you really don't want to do, because, uh, side B. Yep. Uh, if you can close the stock, yep, oh, there like it is. that. All right. close. So that takes it to game two. This is a best of five set. This is winner's finals. All right. This is doubles winners finals. <coughs> Sorry if you guys can hear, can, like, hear me coughing. Okay. I'm. I got sick like two weeks ago, and I still have the cough, and it's really annoying. I'm trying to turn away from the mic, but so NACL switching the Kirby. I don't like that character. <laughs> Yeah, I believe that's who he means, Kirby and Game and & Watch. Alright. You know, two characters who duck under everything. <laughs> but, I mean, I guess he's trying to take this a little bit more seriously at this point. Yeah, trying maybe. to get at least a couple games off. Though, their Ganon Ganon team worked really well, honestly. Uh, I think it's just uh, just a combination of Robin Yoshi just countering Ganon too hard. Mm -hmm. well, Even double. Double Ganon is one of those where when you're doing well, you do insanely well. Like, you can close stocks super fast. Just momentum. But if you don't do oh. super well, then you get just exploded. So, Richard switching to faster Ganon. Or yep. Or uh, faster move announcing Ganon. His, his clone from back in time. Yeah, definitely. Fa Falcon's the clone of Ganon, obviously. Yep. That's why he came first. Yeah. But anyways, it looks like we're going to Duck Hunt. We have Blue and Green team on the Blue and Green stage. This has proven to be really confusing before. But this is the best stage to do doubles on. Yep, specifically with these team colors. Yeah. Uh, the red team always has a disadvantage. Man, if you look at this, right now, each team has one person who has just gotten, like, blown up, and one person who's still at pretty low percent. Uh, green team seems to be ahead percent-wise now, thanks to Travis. No, they won't be if... Alright, so, Kaito Kun to G-Man's up airs did some solid damage on that Yoshi. That Yoshi, though. <laughs> Yoshi has uh, pretty strong combos and kill options against Falcon, actually. Mm -hmm. it, well, his thing is, he has a lot of kill moves and stuff, but he doesn't have very many kill set- Oh! Yep, and that is one of Kirby's big weaknesses. He doesn't ledge snap until he's on the way down, so if you can just, like, hit him, like, as he's spinning around on the ledge, you can just kill that thing. Yeah? Little puffball dies. Alright. Um, in my experience against Yoshi with Falcon, I have found that usually in recovering a Falcon, Depending on what the Yoshi's like trying to do to you, if he's trying to go for that fair spike, it's typically more 50-50 whether or not you get back. Yeah, because Ooh, nice conversion by Kaito Kun right there. Uh, Summer Heat got a back that air. That was a nice knee right there by the. That was man, just stock, stock, stock. The bird combat. Gone. Just bird Half the t birds fighting, man. Bird yep. fight. Just on duck hunt. Yeah. You got some falcons, some robins, some ducks. Random oh. Yoshi and a puff. I don't know, like some dinosaur thing or dragon or whatever. We'll, we'll say he's a dragon, that way he at least has wings. Yeah, and then some weird marshmallow or something. <laughs> but Kaito Kun is putting some solid shield pressure on G-Man right now. Uh, his shield is getting pretty low though, it looks like they switched. Ooh, nice shield all. is super low now. Like, it's probably regenerated a decent amount by now. Ooh. Oh, and he lives. 
and but just like that, how A-Man it can be 50-50 sometimes when recovering with yeah. House Falcon against Yoshi. So if they can take Knuckles' stock here, then they can do they some serious definitely work have the lead. on Falcon. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad for oh, the wow. team. Oh, the little... tech! Dude, Kai that Cocoon. dirty Kai Cocoon. Smash DI, not Smash DI, but DI into the wall. For uh, the it was potentially tech. Smash DI. It's still in this game, it's just a bit weaker. Okay. Oh, got the down air, I just wasn't sure where it was. Spike. Yeah. I think it just sends at a slight angle, and it just happened to line up. Oh, but, I mean, certainly I good for it. I realize recovering against that team. Yeah, recovering against that team is I, not going to be fun. Uh, interesting note, though, though, Richard could have wall jump instead of upping right away, and he would have been fine. I think he had the up B buffered. He might have, but just not an interesting note. All right, so that, that will conclude what's winners' finals.